Hello lovelies, it is me Kaikos and welcome back for day 7 of 25 Days of Christmas. So I'm really really excited you guys because we're almost literally halfway to Christmas and yay for that. Okay so I have something really really cool to tell you guys about today. So this is my newly wed couple. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail about why I'm so excited for this couple in particular because that will kind of spoil it but watch this space all right so today I'm doing a newly weird couple I have a background story on both of the sims so without further ado let's just get started so the first sim I would love to introduce you guys to is Trinity Calliway she is now known as Trinity Berg so right up until Trinity was 10 years old, she lived on a ranch with her parents and her younger brother, Sam. And this house was amazing. If you guys can imagine just for one second, like literally one, wait, one second, okay, one minute about this house. Okay, so close your eyes and I'm going to explain it. It was this beautiful ranch style house with this blue, dark navy uh, colored roof. White around the outside of the house with red shutters and red door. And it also had a wraparound deck. And on the outside, it had a double garage with a stone gravel right up into the back of the house. And then it led right to the front. So amazing. And then they had this letterbox right at the front of their uh, piece of land. And then right after that, there was this fence and a nice playground. And it had a pool. And then around the other side, sort of at the back of the house, was a barbecue canopy area covered in from the sun. And then on top of that, like it had the barbecue. And then it had a seating arrangement. And then it also had a uh, blow air conditioner. It was so nice in the summer and all year round because it was so hot in Oasis springs like real hot so that's pretty much the gist of the house it's like pretty much in the middle of the lot and then you have the gravel around the whole entire house the seating arrangement at the back and then the fence and the double garage at the back of the house so amazing so pretty much right up until she was 10 she lived at this beautiful ranch she was homeschooled along with her younger brother Sam and she loved being homeschooled she loved being at home with her mum all day every day and her mum was her teacher she was a stay-at-home mum and she was a homemaker and right up until Trinity was like when she was older like right up until high school she always like she always wanted to be exactly like she wanted to follow in the footsteps of her mother is what I'm saying she wanted to be a homemaker stay-at-home mum and she wanted to just raise a family so Trinity and the family uh, moved, so the Kellyway household moved to San Machino. I know, such a big change coming from Oasis Springs right into the heart of the city of San Machino. Coming from this beautiful land with the pool and then the local, um, like the local stream right beside the house to this small apartment in the middle of San Machino with the hustle and bustle of town really, really rocked Trinity and her younger sibling. Uh, so pretty much right until then, they were put into public school. So right until then, okay, so after they moved to San Machino, they were put into public school. Trinity was a bit nervous about going into public school, but she was happy to make friends and she was more than excited to have teachers and, you know, different classes. And of course, it took Trinity a while to settle in, but nonetheless, they both settled in Sam and Trinity really good. The reason why they moved to San Machino was because the father decided he wanted a career change and uh, yeah, he decided he wanted to go into the business career. So Trinity, right up until she was a teenager, she was always an A-plus student at elementary school. She was really good at her grades. But then when she went to high school, she became really disinterested in it. And she wanted to just literally become a stay-at-home mom. And she wanted to raise a family. Um, and this was more towards the end of her high school years when she was just before she was becoming a young adult. You know, her parents were getting older and Sam was a teenager. She literally all she wanted to do was literally move back to the ranch and raise her own family. Now, Ivan, you're probably wondering how he comes into it. Well, he was raised in San Machino all his life all his life with his mum. Uh, she was a single parent to Ivan. Uh, Ivan never knew his father. He, he really never knew about him, although he was told that he was not a very nice person and not someone that Ivan should be 
spending time with. You know what I mean? Um, Ivan's mother had really just kind of told Ivan that I don't want you to have anything to do with your father. He's not a good influence on you and I don't want you getting involved with that life. Ivan's father, like, yeah, he is just not a very nice man at all. And so pretty much Ivan and Trinity met at high school. They knew who each other, you know, who they were. You know, they, they said hello to each other. They hung out in the art class together. But they didn't really kind of gel very well. You know, they were actually kind of a little bit, a little bit of enemies, I guess. Like they were just acquaintances. But Ivan always used to secretly bully Trinity uh, with his mates. You know, he was quite popular at school, Ivan. Uh, and he always used to say, oh my goodness, she's, you know, she's got ginger hair and rah, 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 typical teenage guy, you know. And pretty much deep down inside, he actually really, really loved Trinity, like loved her. Uh, and he always used to use, I guess, you know, the, the things that he used to say to her and he used to use that as a way to kind of prove to his mates that he didn't like her because his mates were like you love her dude you love her and he was like no I don't you know and of course he used his mean words to prove that he didn't and of course Trinity always used to not like Ivan because of that reason so they never really got on very well they always used to kind of say hi to each other in art classes and talk but when Ivan was with his friends it was the complete opposite and when Ivan was away from his friends, he was this really sweet guy who you could talk to for hours. But then when he was with his friends, he would be making fun of her. So she never really knew what his problem was. She always thought that he was just weird and just not a nice person at all. But then pretty much uh, now that Trinity was a young adult, she literally moved on from that, you know, the, the high school and stuff like that and, and university. Um, she was a bit, you know, she was a bit unsure what she wanted to do. She was unemployed for about a couple of years. She used to just be at home with her mum and stuff like that. Uh, and then pretty much she decided, you know what, I'm going to enter in the business career. Her father got her a job and she decided that she was going to do that for a couple of years, which turned into four or five years. And then she literally bumped into Ivan one day on the street waiting for a cup of coffee. And pretty much it went from there. You know, Ivan had grown up so much and changed and, you know, he was now a detective. And, uh, you know, it was just... It just all went from there. They are now married and they are planning to have a family and Trinity would love to go back to the ranch house and raise her family. But we'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, I'm going to head off. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, predictions and your opinions down below in the comments. I love you guys and I will see all of you beautiful lovelies next time. Bye, guys.